What's up guys, it's your boy, still needs an intro, and today I'm gonna show you how to replace your old hood release cable with a brand new one. Now it's not necessary to take the wheel off, but it makes it a lot easier of accessing the screws that are on the inside of the fender well. Plus, I'm gonna be changing my brake pads anyway. Now once you're inside of the fender well, you're gonna have three 10 millimeter bolts there, up here, and down here. And then you're gonna have three Phillips head screws down the side right there. You're gonna peel back the fender liner and right underneath this seam is gonna be two 10 millimeter bolts right up there. Just like that. Now here comes the fun part of trying to pop your hood because your hood latch is broken. Now in my case, I am fortunate enough to, I'm still able to like kind of hook the existing hatch, what's left of it, um, back onto the cable and try and pull it that way. You can pull on the cable with pliers or vice grips, but I will say, be careful because if you do it too hard or if you try and jerk on it, you could fray the cables and snap it worse than what it is already. So. Whatever you have to do, be careful, and then go ahead and pop your hood. So this is the part that's broken. This is the part where it actually like sits on there. The spring is busted on it too. But like I was saying, so here's my little cable. So now I can kind of push it up against where it's supposed to be, ish. I can try to get it to Ah, ha. I'm gonna just pop the hood. So the next step is popping up these right here. And these just kinda pull out of place. Make sure you don't break anything. have these six clips that run across the top. Now we're gonna loosen the two eight millimeter bolts that hold on the headlight. Just to make things a little bit easier, we're just gonna set this up here for now, uh, just so we don't have to disconnect all of these. Now with everything taken apart, we can get a good idea of how the cable is routed. You can see it comes through here, through the firewall, down here, along the fender, Behind the headlight comes up and over here into the hood latch. And the very last thing we're going to take apart before we undo the cable is we're going to take off the hood latch itself. Now if you look really close inside, that is the very end of our cable right there. Ah. 
Ah. Awesome. And that pulls out of there. We got it. So now we're just gonna start undoing the cable. Now in order to unhook the actual latch mechanism itself, there are two eight millimeter bolts, one there and one there, and then it should just drop down. Look at that, awesome. So now we should be able to just snake the rest of this out of this little hole. Now that we have the old cable out, the biggest thing we need to compare is the length. So the hood latch itself is the same, even though this has a minivan on the front of it. We'll line up the end of it here. We're just gonna string it along like this. And make sure the ends end at the same time, which is perfect. That's exactly what we need. So let's start putting the new one in. Now we're gonna come back under here to our little hole in the firewall. That way we can grab it through here. And so to pull it through. Before we get too far along, I do want to try to go ahead and get this pressed back in its place. Over. And last but not least, put back in the two eight millimeter bolts on both sides of the hood latch. All of the products and supplies and stuff that I used for this video will be linked down in the description below, including the hood latch, the little, the little bumper clips, cause I broke one, so I had to buy a set. So you're probably gonna need them too. But I got the hood latch cable, the bumper clips, uh, any kind of like pry tool, everything's gonna be linked down below. I never thought I'd see the day where my dad puts his hair in a ponytail before I put mine in a ponytail. Just for the record. Is it in a man bun too? It's in no, a man bun. No, it is not. He has a man no, bun, not. guy. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it is not. Uh. Now, if you found this video helpful, or at least entertaining, please be sure to drop a like and share it with your friends. If you'd consider subscribing, click over here. If you want to see what YouTube recommends you watch next, click over here. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys next time.